this is the Quaker joystick and valve that is typically installed on a Quaker loader model 50 up through Quaker model 345. So basically the smaller Quaker loaders. What comes in the kit is the hydraulic valve itself. The rubber boot is installed. The handle is not installed but comes with and of course is installed right here. And then also included in the kit, also included in the kit is the Power Beyond sleeve with a plug. You've got these four ports that you're working with here as far as raising and lowering the loader and dumping and retracting the bucket. These top two ports are used for controlling the loader. This is the port for the raise hose and then this is the port for the lower hose and then these two ports are used to control the bucket. This one, this port is for retracting the bucket and this port is for dumping the bucket. If you have open center hydraulics then you're going to take this sleeve and plug combination, you're going to take the plug itself out. The plug will be installed in the port on top and then um, with that installed then this port here is going to be the pressure coming in and then this port is the pressure going out back to the tank. If you have closed center hydraulics then you'll have the sleeve You'll be using the sleeve and the plug. And this is for closed center again. The sleeve with the plug will be installed into the top port. And then the bottom port is the pressure coming in. And then the pressure out to the tank is this port. If you have a power beyond hydraulic setup, then you will be using just the sleeve. You will not be using the plug at all. You will install the sleeve in the top port and then once that's installed your power beyond hose will be hooked to that. And then your pressure in is going to be coming to this port here and then your pressure out to the tank is going to be coming from this port.